is Dane Wigginton from geoengineeringwatch.org. This is an unscheduled diatribe that simply had to be done. The power structure that controls our society is a cancer that's doing its best to infiltrate and infect every aspect of our lives and our reality. This cancer is bearing down on our children in the most insidious ways. If we as parents have any love for our children, if we have any regard for their perspectives in their lives, we must protect them and their minds from the all-out assault that's being waged against them. My good friend and extremely productive activist, Corey Gunnels, sent me a copy of a Common Core test page that's shocking, infuriating, and enraging. This page tells a story of a child that can't properly make a snowball from the flakes falling around him due to the fact that the government can't seem to get the correct formula for the snow. This boy is then approached by a neighbor that professes to have a real snowball in his freezer and he states that it's probably the last one in America. Common Core is not about helping our children to expand their minds and perspectives. It's about conditioning them to be an obedient cog in the wheel of the collective insanity. Common Core is the power structure's tool for making our kids into just another brick in the wall. To teach our children through testing in school to accept artificial snow as normal is truly unacceptable. Let's move on to NASA. It's the second half of this diatribe. NASA is nothing more than a front for the twisted psychotic cabal that currently runs the planet. NASA is just another part of the military industrial juggernaut of total destruction and insanity. What's NASA teaching our kids? That lethal atmospheric spraying particulate trails are just harmless condensation, which we know is not true. NASA is pushing total power structure propaganda and lies on our children. Teaching them to willingly accept as normal and benign the very sprayed substances that are giving our kids epidemic levels of asthma, autism, ADD, and an endless list of other lethal health issues. The condensation trail lies the greatest lie ever perpetrated on populations around the globe. We can say this with absolute certainty. We have inarguable film footage of jet tankers spraying at altitude military tankers as well as commercial aircraft. We have photographs of the spray nozzles mounted on the pylons behind the jet engines in line with the exhaust stream to make it appear as condensation. We have these photographs from commercial aircrafts as well. We have numerous government reports including congressional documents, 750 page long military documents like owning the weather. We have long list of patents again I could go on and on our children are being sprayed it's harming them horrifically and NASA is telling them it's all harmless where's the public outrage where's the public response NASA is teaching our children to have contrail counting contests to make contrail calendars and to have contrail fairs the population should consider the people who post such twisted information as accomplices in the crimes of climate engineering omnicide. Those that draft documents like the NASA Contrail Watching for Kids report should be identified, their public emails located, and then all the information about them posted far and wide so that a justifiably outraged population can communicate their outrage directly to the responsible individuals. Such representatives from NASA should be informed of the fact that the population is rapidly waking up to what's going on in our skies. They should be informed of the fact that the public will likely hold them accountable for their part in the aerosol crime cover-up. They should be informed of the fact that one day, not so far away, there may be Nuremberg-type trials for such people. All of us have a responsibility to our children and to the planet that has supported us helping the battle to shine the light on the insanity and those who are behind it is not an option but rather an obligation make your voice heard in this fight this is Dane Wigginton with geoengineeringwatch.org